caught me. I'm out here doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a peach grower. You know, one of the ways that we determine when to pick an orchard is uh, what does it taste like? Is there sugar coming up? And Anyway, so this is another edition of Tree Talk from Pearson Farm. And I'm here just looking at some peaches and um, like this one. Mr. Some bird pecked this one. And so we have to realize that we have to grow enough peaches for me to eat and for you and for the birds. And uh, hopefully they don't get too hungry and mess up too many peaches. You know, it'd be nice if they would eat a whole peach, but uh, they tend to flit around and, and peck a few here and a few there. So uh, bird pecks are something that we just have to put up with. But peaches, that's what pays the bills. But we've got some other things. We grow peaches and pecans and pine trees and something else. Go with me. Well, here we are, plums. You know, we grow peaches, plums, um, and pine trees, and we also grow a few panectarines. I like things to start with P. But um, we started growing some plums and we use them mainly for retail. This year, a lot of the plum trees, all the plums were killed on them, but obviously not this one. And uh, they're just getting ripe, and we found that a lot of people that come to the packing shed, to our retail area, like plums. Some of them want green plums. Draws my mouth up to think about it. Uh, they And they put salt on them, and they might have them, some of them say they have them with a beer. and. Uh, I think I'll just have the beer and leave the plums alone, the green plums alone. But anyway, how they want to eat them, that's fine with me. But um, the plums, we have a lot of different varieties. And um, a historical point, when I was growing up, there were no plums anywhere. My father wouldn't allow anybody to have a plum tree. And the wild plums that would grow beside the road, and the plum might be as big as the end of my finger, um, there was a program that the, um, the Department of Agriculture would send out and they would eradicate the plums because the plum was a host for the sharpshooter leafhopper. And the sharpshooter leafhopper carried a virus that when it got on a peach tree, it would turn it into a phony peach tree. It looked like it was health, healthy, dark green foliage and but you couldn't make any peaches on it. It would, it might have peaches, but they would all be small and, um, and it would spread throughout your orchard. One way of eradicating the phony peach disease from your orchard was cut down every tree that is phony and every tree that touches it. Well, that's, that might be 10 trees just because of one. And, and uh, so we tried to eradicate the plums, but we have decided we want to grow some and so we've planted a lot of different varieties and we have them at the packing house and uh, it's kind of a good addition for our peaches and pecans and a few panectarines. Anyway, this one is about right. It's soft and uh, so this is one of the early ripeners and mouth's watering a little bit. That's different than a peach, but I like it. Come see us. Have some plums and some peaches and some ice cream, and, uh, and we'll enjoy your company. 